snapshot on the candidates' support in Iowa before Tuesday's caucuses. Uh, Aaron Burnett and Gloria Borgia are over at the CNN uh, polling station to break down the numbers for us. Aaron, uh, this is a snapshot. Things could still change. Right. And, and as we've seen, things have changed rapidly uh, over just the past few days. But uh, just as Jim was talking about the latest uh, choice for nomination, um, this, is, this is what we have right now, Gloria. All right. Oh, yeah. Mitt Romney is at the top. Uh, if this is how it finished on Tuesday, here's my question to you. What does this mean for Mitt Romney? What does it mean for Newt Gingrich? He'll be so happy, not only because he wins, but because the number two and the number three are people who are not perceived as true national candidates. Mm -hmm. Newt Gingrich is somebody with a lot of uh, national experience. Perry has a lot of money. If either of those folks had been in the second or third slot, he might be a little bit more worried. So if this is the result, I think Mitt Romney's campaign is going to be cheering. And, and we'll see what it means for, for Newt Gingrich. But, again, this brings me to the second right. point I wanted to make, which is how volatile it's been, as Wolf and, and, and Jim were mentioning. Is your mind made up? Here is what uh, the, the numbers are on this. And this is pretty amazing. At this point, with this many debates and this much obsession, 41% <laughs> of people in Iowa could be persuaded to change their vote. Hey, don't forget, these are the Iowa caucuses. You're not just going into a polling booth and pulling a lever. You're going into caucuses, which we're going to show on Tuesday night. People are going to talk on behalf of their candidates. This mm -hmm. has been a very, very volatile year as you know so 51 percent say their minds are made up you know in the 2008 caucuses on the republican side 60 percent were made up months before the caucuses this is so, amazing look at this all right yep. and on our other screen and this is what's neat everyone over mm -hmm. the next couple days you'll get to see we have multiple screens and all kinds of neat things we can do but this is actually shows uh, in action what we have been seeing uh, you see uh, mitt romney in red at uh, 20 percent back on tuesday 26. I mean, this is just the past four days, and what you really see is the change in Ron Paul down, and wow, Rick Santorum. You know, it, it's interesting. First of all, Romney, as you know, has been the most consistent. He doesn't go much below that 22 percent. He can't get much above the 26 yeah. percent. You, you look at Santorum, though, he's probably thinking he's peaking at just the right time. Some of these folks peaked a little early. I would say Ron Paul probably did. You know, that's the peril of being a front runner. Because once you're the front runner, mm -hmm. you get a different kind of treatment. And you go under the magnifying yep. glass, it's tough. And I guess your timing could be right. I mean, only four days ago, Ron Paul was one with 29%. That shows you the brief windows of time we're talking about here. All right, back to you, Wolf. Thanks very much. You know, it's interesting that...